Hello ladies and gentlemen, Marauder X here back with more Let's Play Shining Force 3 Scenario 2. We're on the Seagate, so we're going to start wandering on the Seagate. So there is another room across from here. This is the shop. We'll be back there shortly. We're going to come over here, and I'm pretty sure this is General Rogan's room. So two of the treasures are going to be in here that we want. Uh, meet inspected treasure chest. Found the potion. So we got a potion. Found the protect milk. Here the protect milk, two synthesis. And so we've got three other items. One of them is in the shop. Um, come over here. Large mithril. So we've got three of the five. We've got two more items. Let's see what is going on here. Alright, so this is the Seagate HQ. Uh, composition of surrounding water, synthesis of water and salt, my least favorite combination. Alright, so it says there's a box in the HQ room that has a uh, Um, a small mithril. There we go. So we have to actually do that. Otherwise, uh, we'll just end up talking to uh, to Robbie there. Who, while Robbie is a good conversationalist, he's a little upset about the fact that you know he is a robot surrounded by water. All right. So there is also large mithril there. So, that's all of the items, so we're going to go ahead and go back into the HQ, give these items, you know, away. Uh, also, I need to give the Earth Rod to someone we got in the last fight. Um, let's see, we've got the Earth Rod, Rod Golem 2, so that's a brand new weapon. Alright, so that would, that would increase Synthesis... Attack and defense. Uh, let's see. Hedva's using a wand, so we don't want to do that. So yeah, we'll go ahead and give that to Synthesis, and we'll exchange that for the Protect Milk. Synthesis will equi equip the Earth Rod. Alright, let's give Gantrak all of the items now. Because we don't need them. We don't need the Protect Milk. Uh, we don't need another freeze ball. I could probably sell the freeze ball. Don't need that fairy powder. Uh, don't need the potion. We will sell the bronze rod, which has dispel level 1, but I, I, frankly, I don't use dispel. So, not worried about that. Deposit the mithril. Deposit multiple mithrils. Deposit another freeze ball. Deposit another mithril. <laughs> We've got more than enough mithril now to, uh, to actually take care of some things. So, and we've got that, that, everyone else. Oh, Don Hort needs to be resurrected. I forgot that Don Hort needs... Except Don Hort's right there. You're, you're right there. Alright, so let's go resurrect Don Hort. And we will go buy some stuff. Because we've got a bunch of stuff to get... There's some new weapons for most classes, it looks like, according to this. Alright, I need to be on the right side. So, let's revive Don Hort. It kind of sucks that we have to revive an NPC. At least in Shining Force 2, when they had Peter uh, join your party and he was, you know, uh, uncontrollable, they gave the mechanic that... As a phoenix, he doesn't need to be resurrected. So, but Don Hort, I have no control over Don Hort, so I really don't feel that I should have to spend money to resurrect Don Hort when he does something stupid like that. Alright, so he's got no deals. He'll have one here in a second, because we're going to sell that, but we're getting nothing from it. That's a little disappointing, but okay. Alright, let's... 
see what we can buy. Alright, so, Battle Rapier, or Foil, I'm pretty sure that's what Median's got equipped at the moment. Battle Blade is what Julian's got at the moment, so we're just going to go through everything. Ninja Katana, I'm 99% sure that's what... Oh no! Oh no, she does have one. She's got the, the shuriken equipped. I'm like, okay. That... Heavy Lance. Alright, that one actually might... be new. Let's see. Yeah, I've got... Uh, I've got an Iron Lance, so that's actually what I have equipped. So, we need that. So, yay Heavy Lance. I also feel like we don't have too many spear wielders. Like, we've got people who use the the offshoot weapons. Uh, but I, I really don't feel like we've got too many... Uh, which else? Alright, so we got that. Power spear. Power hatchet. Iron glove. Robin Arrow is what we currently have on Bernard. Middle I still only have the Middle Coral and the Great Shell. We don't have any anchors yet either. I was pretty sure that uh Robbie could equip anchors, but it doesn't seem like that's the case. So there's actually a lot less weapons to get than I was expecting there to be. That's a little disappointing. And then the item shop. I'm going to buy a couple of uh, medical herbs. And I've lost some sound effects there. That's weird. At least I can't hear them. I don't know if they're actually gone or not. Um, okay, there we go. I heard that one. Um, Hedva, you're going to get another... And that's that's good for now. All right, there is a deal to pick up here. It is another loincloth, so don't necessarily need it, but it's here. I might get it off screen and you know just catch back. Oh, or there we are. Loincloth just came in eight gold. I'm just gonna keep it there. I don't need it on anyone. No one else really needs to start messing around with criticals. So, come down here. Bolsom High Priest Fiel is still unconscious, but it looks like as if he may wake soon. Alright. So, we don't need to fear his escape, but let's come down here and start talking to him. What's going on? Why is the emergency so... Okay. Something must be happening. And Fiel wakes up. Priest Fiel, you are feigning unconsciousness? Unfortunately, no. The energy from the breaking of the seal caught me off guard and I lost consciousness. So the power sealed within the staff of the seam is truly that powerful certainly tasted the terror of its holy power enough to know. Well, he seems genuinely concerned with the power of that staff. When you awoke, you said someone was here, but who were you talking about? Can't you hear that sound? The sound of a steam engine approaching? Steam engine on the sea? Could it be? It must be the executor. Or exa I'm going to keep calling it the executor, because... Yeah. Because I'm a Star Wars geek, for one, so... Is General Cruert coming for us? Executor apparently fired on the Seagate previously because it was pursuing a bullseye vessel. They w you'd think they'd be smart enough to not fire on the same ship twice, thinking that they can't use that same excuse. Priest Fial, is the Executor coming to rescue you? I don't know, but if they are coming to rescue me, I don't need their help. Yeah, what do you mean by that? I mean, I don't require their help. This door is secured with a steel lock. There's no way for you to open it without the key. 
That's true. Therefore, I'll escape by other means. I mean, we've seen them teleport before. We really think that they can't get out of a jail cell? Unless it's, you know, uh, magically en enshrined? But we've seen them disappear before. What kind of form is he able to take that allows him to slip through the floor? The emergency siren, the executor is approaching. It's unfortunate that Fiala escaped, but we must find out what's happening with the siren. Let's ask General Rogan. So, we're going to go find out what's going on with the emergency siren. And we know what happens to Fiala in the end. We know he gets what's coming to him. Symbios delivers that. So we don't need to, to be that concerned. Halt, Seagate. Oh, well, at least they know who we are this time. The Executor. Prince Erewant, I believe Rogan heard our request, yet he refuses to stop the ship. Our goals are to free the Bullzone Priest they are holding, recover the Staff of Basim, and capture Gracie unharmed. But that may be impossible with diplomacy alone. Knowing how stubborn Rogan is, he won't answer our request, but I don't want to resort to force to stop him. Look, Rogan, it is I, Arwant. I have business with people aboard the Seagate. Stop your vessel and hand them over immediately. Uh, how about no? Alright, continue to move full speed ahead. Do you intend to simply ignore Prince Rogan? Arwant's, uh, entreaty, General Rogan? Executor is the latest and most powerful warship ever created. Why have we not been able to reach the Seagate? What's the problem? They're benefiting from the current tailwind. Our ship with its heavy equipment and steam engine is doing all it can. If we keep this up, the engine may overheat and explode. Can we slow down for a moment? It's out of the question. Even if the engine should fail, do not reduce our speed. It's unavoidable, crew. We have no choice but to slow down with... Slow them down with our cannons, and then board the ship. Ooh! They're gonna start shooting at us! Everyone to their posts, prepare to attack! Alright, so... They're gonna start firing on us. They intend to bombard us. Evade the attack! Well, thankfully, cannons are not exactly the most accurate. What's wrong? Our vessel's velocity is... If we continue to attempt drastic evasive moves at the speed, we, would, we could eventually capsize. Oh, that's... Oh, damn. Took a hit. Let Rogan feel the terror of my executor to the very marrow of his bones. Oh, Cruert's dark. We must do something. The Seagate will be sunk unless we fight back. I didn't think the executor would use force, but now we have no choice. We must battle Cruert. In that last barrage, our gunmen have been... We can't return fire. Our gunmen are down. We are the... Ex Executor, we're at, at the executor's mercy. Cannons are weapons for cowards. As a warrior, I don't want to use them, but it appears we have no choice. Cannons are our only means of staying afloat. Prince Median, if they intend to board us after disabling our firepower, we may yet be able to engage them honorably in battle. Aim for their cannons. The area, area around the cannon is dangerous due to... Uh, incoming attacks. Prince Median, if you plan to fire a cannon, please stand behind it to fire. They're after Gracie and the staff of Basim, Prince Median. We must foil their plans. 
Alright, so, we're getting into another fight on... on the deck of the Seagate. So... This is gonna be fun. Let's take a look and see what we've got. We've got Cruert Soldiers. HP of 40, movement of 6, attack of 40, defense of 27, agility of 17, luck of 2. Carrying Heavy Halberd. And we have a total of four of those. Wing Knights. HP of 45, movement of 6, attack of 37, defense of 26, agility of 20, luck of 2. Carrying a Power Spear. There are five of those throughout this fight that we'll have to encounter. So, I don't know where they are. Because I only see two. Oh, no, they're, they're the others. They're off. And then we have... Kruert, HP of 130, movement of 6, attack of 45, defense of 32, agility of 15, luck of 9, carrying a power axe and a defense bracer. I don't know if we actually have to fight him, but he does have stats, so that's a thing. And then you've got Erwant, which has unknown HP, movement of 6, attack of 12, defense of 16, agility of 26, luck of 9, and an iron blade. That's, that's an incredibly low attack. I'm pretty sure he doesn't actually exist. I'm pretty sure that's not there. And then we've got two cannons that we need to reach so that we can fire. So, uh, according to the guide, to win this battle we must destroy the cannons of the Executor. Uh, the battle will also end if the cannons on the Seagate are destroyed. If either of the ships lose all their cannons, the battle will end and the next battle will begin. Destroy the Executor's weapon. Stand one of your force in front of a cannon and use it. If the cannon is out of range, though, you cannot fire it. At the end of each turn, the Seagate lo loses speed until all of its and the Executor's cannons are able to fire. You must hit a cannon four times to destroy it uh, and its operator. The Kruert soldiers have 40 HP, and each does 10... Okay. So don't bunch your characters up, and they will suffer 10 damage. Okay, so... So what I'm going to do is I'm going to move some of the people with very high movement to the back. And... I believe we are out of range at the moment, so I'm going to just take an opportunity, like I said, to move people... Move people around. Uh, one thing I'm going to do is I'm going to get some people to speed the hell up. That'll help out a fair bit, actually. That, that will actually make things a little more... Uh more tolerable. I don't remember how this fight went. Um, character, don't put Median at one of the cannons because if it is destroyed he will die and you will lose. If you want to make things a little bit easier in the next battle, keep whoever has the Elbacy Morb alive. Median's force gets 10 experience at the end of each battle for each cannon on the Seagate that is kept intact. Alright, so, we need to keep Zero alive from the sound of that. And, like I said, I'm just going to move some people who have decent movement. And see if I can get them to attack the cannons. And then I'll just use people to deal with the wing knights that are going to be flying towards me, because that... That seems wonderful, doesn't it? Alright, um... Executor's cannons are out of range, we can't reach them from here. Okay, so... Can't do anything at the moment there. So I'm just gonna... I'm not gonna send everyone around that one side, because I have a feeling they're just gonna get shot at. So... And, of course, I have zero control over Don Hort. About to say, if they got a chance to attack me, I was gonna be pissed. Because it's like, I can't attack you, but you can attack me, then how are we out of range? Alright. So, I should be able to get... We're losing momentum, they're gaining on us. Alright. We should be able to attack now. I'm just gonna leave zero up there. Move Uryudo. Not put Median at one of the cannons. Mizuki, on the other hand... We're gonna take a shot with a cannon. 
And I've got to do that several more times. Oh, but the Wing Knight took 10 points of damage as well, so... Sorry to report, Cannon 1 has been hit. However, it's durable and should hold up against several more hits. Alright, so... Um... I'm gonna keep some people nearby to heal the cannoneers, but keep them out of range. Because I can't... can't use the cannon, it's only whoever's directly behind it. So I may actually switch uh, Hazuki out. But in the meantime, I'm gonna keep people nearby, because I should have enough healing items to make sure the cannons it themselves take damage. But I don't know, it, it says if the cannon is destroyed, the person behind it is defeated. Alright, still can't use that one. So... Uh, but now, unfortunately, I have to end this battle. I'm out of time. Don't get too close, Donhor. What are you doing? What are you doing? Alright. Or do I just take 10 damage and the cannon stays alive? Because if that's the case, so I don't see the cannon itself having any HP, so it's just that. Alright, so yeah, I can just keep people alive then. So that's my goal, keep people alive and just bombard cannons. So I will see you all in the next installment where we will deal with that. So, till then, later everyone.